I'm going to be in conversation with international delegates who have come to U.S. as part of the program, which is called SUSI, a study of United States institutions. The study of the U.S. institutes is a program that is geared towards, in this case, scholars who are studying um, the economics and business and sustainable development. This is ITD's program. I'm going to start with Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has been an amazing experience. Uh, I've learned a lot of things, especially one of the best things is to be respectful and tolerant with different cultures. So now I'm going to move on to Slovakia. Yeah, who's apparently the photographer of the, <laughs> of the group. <laughs> Uh, they want to help each other more. Yeah. yeah. I can see here we, we have, for example, this uh, um, uh, Friday night supper, uh, like uh, helping uh, poor people uh, with, with a meal and so on. So oh. it's like more. Now I'm going to move on to uh, Marlene, and she's from Honduras. I'm learning so much from them from uh, photography, from uh, Islam. You know, for, for me, it's like really weird to find someone in my country who oh, okay. so much. Uh, okay. Words, inshallah, <laughs> mashallah. <laughs> um, and uh, we have Heba from Egypt. It was very interesting exchanging more about knowledge like, okay, from my side about Islam, but learning about other uh, religions, other cultures at the same time. I'm actually really proud to present uh, someone from okay. Pakistan. About Pakistani women, they, they, there are lots of you know preconceived, misconstrued notions about Pakistan. Pakistani women leaving developing country. It was an honor. It was an absolute honor to be here, represent my country. Now I'm going to, going to move on to India. Pakistan and India yeah. sitting side by side. <laughs> so surprising to see India and Pakistan sitting together, yeah. giggling, yeah. Uh, enjoying. enjoying and sharing our feelings in our own language. Assalamu alaikum. I'm back with an extremely exciting episode of New Wave Global. Today, the conversations that I'm going to have are going to be global in the truest sense of the word. I'm going to be in conversation with international delegates who have come to US as part of the program, which is called SUSI, a study of United States institutions. It is a program conducted by ITD, an Institute of Training and Development, uh, which is in collaboration. In fact, it's sponsored by the US Department of State Bureau of Education and Cultural Affairs. I'm super excited to be talking to people from across the world who've traveled long distances to share their experiences and experience US institutions and learn from them. And I'm actually honored to be um, in the presence of the program director who has graciously agreed to talk to us about the, the, the program. Kathy, Katie Lazdowski, welcome. I'm so glad you could join us. If you could briefly tell us about the program itself and tell us what it entails, what's the objective? Sure, thank you so much, first Please. off, for, for hosting us. This is very exciting. Um, the study of the U.S. Institutes is a program that is geared towards, in this case, scholars who are studying um, the economics and business and sustainable development. This is ITD's program. We are one of a variety of programs um, that is essentially run through the University of um, Montana. They are the lead on the grant and we are a sub-awardee. So the focus of this program is economics and sustainable development. And all of the 18 scholars who are part of this amazing program have been selected uh, through a rigorous process at their own um, U.S. embassies in their own countries. So we have a collective of amazing scholars with us. Uh, over the course of six weeks, we expose them to various scholars through lectures, through experiential learning, um, and we draw on our resources at ITD to bring in professors who are experts in their field to create a curriculum for these 18 scholars. Yeah, so it makes for a very enriching experience for all of them. And I'm sure 
all of you have a lot to take back home to. I'm, I'm sure this has been uh, a great learning experience for you. You've probably not only experienced uh, the, the educational institutes of um, US, but you've probably experienced the culture. You've, you've, you've seen how uh, similar or different things are over here and they're probably ready to, um, I know you still have a small leg of this program left, but I'm sure you're already full of experiences and great ideas to bring, bring uh, back home to and implement them. Um, and also, you probably experienced the New York traffic today too. <laughs> Crazy Friday traffic. Yes. Yes. So um, I'd like to um, go on and introduce some of the delegates who have joined us today. I know there's 18 of you, but we have about five over here who um, I, um, I'm very thankful for joining and sharing their experiences. I'm going to start with Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's, right next, she's, right, she's, right, she's right next to um, Katie. Um, I hope I get her name right, Azucena. Am I close? Yes, Azucena. Yeah, Azucena. Okay, so um, just tell us what your experience has been so far and what are you planning, like maybe a one-liner planning on bringing home with you? Yes, well, I like to start saying that I didn't travel that long because I'm... Yeah, I know you're probably long. three hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, it has been an amazing experience. Uh, I've learned a lot of things, especially one of the best things is to be respectful and tolerant with different cultures because we are very different each other and sometimes there are some topics different in mm. every country. So I right. think we all are doing our best to to have a good group. And the um, tools or knowledge I want to, to take with me to my country, uh, especially is to it's learn from my colleagues and to know, to learn how they uh, teach. And that's main, the main thing. That's great, that's incredible. So now I'm gonna move on to Slovakia. Yeah, who's apparently the photographer of the, <laughs> of the group and has been taking some amazing pictures for the whole group. So I was, um, you know, the other day, uh, Zubda wrote something about, you know, what her experience has been. And she, she uh, said something that she's found America to be a, mix, a mixed bowl of salad, salad right? A mixed bowl. salad bowl. Yes. And where she thinks that, you know, people coexist in great harmony, but they still maintain their individuality. What's your take on this? And what's your take home for home too? Yeah, that's, uh, that's very important here too, that people have this uh, like uh, uh, minds, different minds, different mindset from uh, the, in, in Europe, for example, uh, they will want to help each other more. Yeah, yeah. I can see here, we, we have, for example, this, uh, um, uh, Friday night su supper, uh, like uh, helping uh, poor people uh, with, with a meal and so on. So oh, it was like volunteering activity. Wow. Okay. Uh, and, and it was very, very interesting for me to see how, how, how people can uh, help each other here. Also in Europe, you know, helping them is yeah. not, not like that. Yeah. Actually, I, I met uh, one lady uh, on the street and um, she, she told me that, oh, can I help you with something? Can I help? Okay. okay. And she was like, "Oh, you have you have this shirt a little bit like not so good." So, <laughs> so <laughs> she she made my shirt. I was like surprised with, uh, with this kindness and with uh, how how uh, how helpful are these people in America, so in the West. Yeah, I'm I'm glad you found that. And let me tell you, this is like New York City where people are very busy. You no, know, people don't necessarily have as much time to yeah. you know be there and be that helpful. If you go further out in suburban America, it's it, this this quality is even more obvious and more present. So I'm glad you even appreciated it over here, and th that's uh, that's a great. Um, uh, I'm glad people of New York were able to impress you with their with their kindness. That's great. Um, now I'm going to move on to uh, Marlene, and she's from Honduras. So what have you learned or what's your experience been so far? What's your takeaway from here, from this experience? It's been amazing in like an overall experience, like the educational part, the cultural part, and the, my colleagues, they are, I am learning so much from them. 
from uh, photography, <laughs> from uh, Islam. For, for me, it's like really weird to find someone in my country because we don't have um, Islamics in Honduras. Is it Catholic and not many, not, not many many Christians. Muslim population. So I learned oh, okay. so much. Uh, okay. Of course, inshallah, mashallah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, all of, of them have bring this um, uniqueness, and their research are so uh, interesting. And uh, I have learned so much from them as well as from our professors. And the cultural activities are like a complement, like a and Katie designed read this really well to, to complement all of the achievements. Bringing you all together. Yes. 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 She's kind of been your rock. Yes. We, make, we are making our own little salad. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, and uh, we have Heba from Egypt. So she's probably been one of the, the Islamic teachers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been like kind of a teacher and a learner because uh, it was very interesting exchanging more about knowledge like okay from my side about Islam but learning about other uh, religions other cultures at the same time so it was very interesting like seeing the similarities and the differences and uh, actually the cultural aspect has been a very strong uh, part of this program so the besides the uh, huge academic diversity that we received in uh, the learnings the cultural part has been there to augment and give us a very deep perspective about the um, institutions the systems how people act um how what their belief system how are, are they tolerating each other the coexistence and the diversity right. of the society so the overall program has been like very well rounded in, mm. in many ways so yeah so so basically to say that it's just not been about learning the education system of us but it's it's a whole experience yeah, exactly. yeah it's a, a well rounded experience where you're learning about the culture like he said he you know he saw examples of kindness and maybe that's something that he's bringing home She's learned a few, hopefully, <laughs> good things about Islam, and yes. she could, you know, maybe yes. uh, be helpful in changing some images that we have, uh, you know, prototypes that we have in our in our head about that. And th so that's that's an extremely important point that the, the program is is way beyond than just education. Now I'm going to going to move on to India and ask her experience of the whole program, what she's learned what she's going to take away from this program. Yeah, thank you. I'm Rajshri from India and uh, I'm happy to be a part of this Sushi program. And uh, if you ask me what are the key learnings, there are so many things which we talked about, about sustainability, about blue economy. And there are multiple dimensions of economy which we have discussed. Uh, if we talk about climate, if we talk about poverty, leadership, there are multiple uh, concerns which exist in an economy which leads towards sustainability and all has been dealt in one way or another in uh, across the nation people were here and we had a good interaction in the class uh, not class if we, if we can say sessions uh, i am coming from teaching fraternity so mm -hmm. the class is a common word which comes out mm -hmm. and uh, if we say the designing module i like the pedagogy because i have seen what they were sharing in the sessions they made the experience uh, witness, taking us to the field. Uh, like if we are talking about blue economy, they have taken us to the fishers to understand how blue economy will work, to a place where tourism has been developed. We talk about leadership. They have taken us to the Kennedy Museum. So somehow things were related and that I appreciate. So um, very diverse learning yes, yes. Uh, experience. Um, what's interesting, and I'm just learning about it, is I don't know if it was by design or by choice or just a stroke of luck that you got to share the room with the Pakistani delegate. So that, how was that experience? <laughs> it's not really. And, and you, yeah, both of you can have a go. It's, uh, to add on to it, it's not only sharing rooms. Uh, the day we entered in the room where we need to sit for one month and the name tags has been arranged already so we need not to change ourselves we need to sit where our name tags are there and so you have what, seen it, pakistan it, and india yeah. sitting side by side <laughs> and you will be surprising to know if there are 20 of the resource person who came to have a session maybe 70 percent of them have said it is so surprising <laughs> to see india and pakistan sitting together yeah. giggling yeah uh, enjoying enjoying, enjoying 
and sharing our feelings in our own language that is absolutely, most important absolutely. Was that. it was great it was i just great. heard both of you say that you know you're so grateful that you got to talk to each other share experiences in your native languages because both of you understand yes. hindi and urdu so it seems like it's been a great experience you were you know the the common misconception of where we don't get along here with each other has been dispelled in fact it's been shattered and it seems like you've gotten along so well cross cultural boundaries crossed whatever political boundaries and um hung out like the most closest of uh, neighbors and friends it seems like zubda do you have anything it's, to add to it amazing although i know the pakistani cricket team is way better than <laughs> 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 but you know despite no. despite the these are interesting yeah but it was fun. Talk, I, yeah. I, I, i i'm taking back lovely memories i hope rashri could you know visit lahore yeah. it's a beautiful beautiful city our vibe is somewhat like delhi and mumbai uh but of course uh, we we come with lots of uh, like i'm said uh, misconstrued perceptions about each other but the language was the same the sentiments were the same uh we enjoyed thoroughly and i just hope what the politicians have failed at doing maybe you know people the civil society could do that in a more amiable and a more effective manner so all my best wishes to india to indians and yes. you're more than welcome uh pakistan and you should welcome us same sharing well. same yes. sharing from <laughs> india to you yeah it was great being together i'm so so it uh, you know it really makes my heart swell up with happiness to see this camaraderie and you dispelling the common notions that exist between the two countries it's it, it's 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 been a yeah. very great Emotion. experience and last but not the least i'm actually really proud to present uh, someone from okay. pakistan because you know that's not something that we see very often and uh, uh, you know we have a a third world country image of pakistan where zubda is here changing that and uh, uh, putting pakistan in the new perspective so uh i'm very proud of you thank you so much and uh, i'd like like let you explain uh what you have learned what your experience has been and what's your take away from here thank you thank you amna for hosting all of us it's it's been beyond amazing honestly uh just exactly what you said uh about pakistani women they there there are lots of you know preconceived misconstrued notions about pakistan pakistani women leaving developing country so it was an honor it was an absolute honor to be here represent my country represent my community women in particular uh the mixed salad bowl is uh, actually the term that i picked from kt in one of our sessions i used the term melting pot and that is you know that's the terminology the me- metaphor that we've been uh, accustomed with so kt mentioned that we don't really we're not really a melting pot it's a mixed salad bowl and you know that just that just hit me so you know it it just struck the right chord and this is exactly what i've experienced and this this program just like as usina said just like marlene said heba yan it has brought us together all the humans together all the you know the citizens of different continents we've come together and we found out that there's so much in common you know we like same kind of food we enjoy the kind of we we yeah. 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 dance yeah. yeah. other than the you know the study of us institutes we've learned salsa we've been you know <laughs> dancing nice. many years so you can look it up on yes. <laughs> youtube yeah. maybe before we end we could have yes. you guys show us some movie <laughs> or something so I, i think it's 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 been amazing uh, um a, a huge honor again for me really thank you really thankful to itd kt for being that you know for being that support for uh, uh, we've been a tough batch we've been a tough <laughs> group <laughs> but you've done a brilliant job i must say and thank you to the state department and i must say that i think this is one of the best investments that the governments can do yeah. instead of you know investing in other lucrative projects i think investing in humans would you know it's a long term project which will reap you immense profits in the long run in the long run. so i think invest in human capital uh, try to bring Education. people together educate yeah. them i have dispelled lots of uh, you know perceptions that i had for example we had kt's family over and the bond that we witnessed you know a daughter taking care of the family and you know how she's attached to her son you know the son is so attached to the mom you know the the, the, the image that the family system maybe is kind of you know disintegrating in the us so it was a it was something that uh, was a good experience for me 
So I'm taking back uh, lots of good memories. I'm going to have you guys back in Pakistan. <laughs> I want you to see Shana. Pakistan, explore <laughs> Pakistan, and we'd love to host you in our country. I'm I, I'm actually very impressed by you know these little peppering of uh, the. Uh, um, expressions from different languages that you're using yeah. that alone just proves you know how close-knit you've been yeah. and how close-knit this uh, program has been just um, um, kind of taking off from there Katie I and I'm sure you you've conducted quite a few of these this is not your first group this is not your first rodeo so have you always seen this camaraderie have you seen this you know gelling of people coming from different cultures. I mean, they're not here for like years or whatever, and they've not known each other for, for, for whatever. But you do you see this very often? And is it, it so because that goes to prove how you just dispel those boundaries, mm -hmm. those waters, and it's people are people, you know, and it, it doesn't matter how, how politics work, how other things work when you when they get together, there's there's a huge camaraderie and they root for each other, have fun with each other? Is that something that you always see, mostly see? That's an excellent question. And I would say, you know, it, it's myself, it's the ITD team, it's Professor Javier Corrales, who serves at our, as our academic director. Um, together, we create this program, but it's really up to the scholars to embrace it and do with it what they want. And every group has their own personality but usually there is a strong bond by the end. And it's really, as I, I state in the beginning, this is the, the six week program. It's just the beginning to what is hopefully a lifelong um, time together in terms of the collaboration that continues as a result and the impact that you have as a result of the SUSE program. So this usually leads to something more lasting. That's, yes. that, is that what you're saying? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So they're just not going to finish this six weeks and then be gone and you know out of each right. other's life. Like Zubda were referring, they're all coming to Pakistan. I hope Inshallah. you guys do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 So there's going to be sure that it's going to be a great experience yes. for you. Yeah. Um, one, uh, one other thing, uh, how this experience, uh, I'm sure uh, I don't know is obviously not, uh, not the first um, Pakistani um, who has been a part of the program. Mm -hmm. So has that, uh, and you know, from your perspective and other people or the other uh, members of the, the groups, have you felt that that has somewhat dispelled the general impression of you know, Pakistani women in particular and Pakistan in general, because I know, um, and Zubda has been mentioning that too, I've been here for like 15 years and I'm kind of like used to it, but I, I see there is a stereotype that's, that goes with Pakistani women, you know, how they're maybe not at that well educated or maybe a little suppressed, repressed, not as productive member of the society. and. You know, I, I I can't really relate with that anymore because I've been part of this society for so long, so I'm not really a representative of that society anymore. But you've seen people who just get off the plane from Pakistan and then you know are part of the the group. What 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 have you? What has your impression been about them? Yeah, I would say that it's it is through these micro cultural exchanges, whether it's with each other or meeting and hearing people's stories, this, knowing the sacrifices that all of these participants have made to be here, yes. leaving their families, leaving their work, leaving their jobs, it's incredible. And every time I hear stories and get to meet people and get to you know share these wonderful people with community members, we're breaking down those stereotypes. You know, Those small interactions allow Americans to better understand um, what it means or, or who they're representing, you know, back in their home countries and the ideals that they're representing back in their home country. So, you know, these opportunities for these soft exchanges, if you will, is yeah. just, and the soft, you know, diplomacy is just, it's exactly what we need. So when you say, you know, invest in this, it's, it, it's a hundred percent where we come to understand each other and have a better rationale of why things happen in certain ways in different countries 
and um, work to address the root causes of you know oppression that takes place or whatnot. Yes, that, that, that's um, that's very aptly put. You know, and it, it tells us what what's the value of this program is beyond just sharing educational systems and uh, uh, modes of education. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we have uh, had a lot of a, a serious uh, discussion. <laughs> Anything fun that you would like to share with us uh, that you've experienced over the last uh, four four weeks, say five weeks almost now, right? Yes. Yeah. The last leg. I, I think um, you seem to be the most bubbly. <laughs> <fun person. laughs> maybe, maybe we could start with you. Something that you want to share about your co um, co colleagues. Uh, so maybe someone who's not even here. <laughs> I want to talk about someone that is not here. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they're okay with it. <laughs> no, it has been very fun because it's as Katie says, a rigorous program, but we are uh, having fun <laughs> yeah. um, especially uh i think we had one party we had a party we danced uh, Latin music, yeah. Yeah. Arabic music, yes. yeah. Pakistani music, Pakistani music. Yeah. 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 Egyptian yeah. music, yeah. of course. Yeah. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. We danced yeah. like what? Yeah. Zawaikian music. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 It's and fun. we are about to present some awards at the end of the <laughs> <laughs> And that's a secret, I'm assuming? Yeah, I can share one. Oh, uh, sure. We love that. One of these. And maybe a sneak peek. <laughs> <laughs> one of these, uh, Susie Scholars, has a great smile. Oh. <laughs> you can see who. <laughs> I, I, I think you all have great smiles. Yeah. 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 That's what we love to see. Yeah, she's going to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so she's going to win the best smile. Okay. Um, Zupel, if you, there's something that you want to say to people back home and diaspora over here about Pakistan, and then we'll let Katie give us. Yes, um, I, I just want to say that just play your part in, you know, dispelling the stereotypical, you know, the images that, that, that are there, Pakistanis are extremely talented people, we're peace-loving people, we're not exploding, you know, bombs every now and then, you know, we, we, uh, we're hospitable people, and th I think this program, I'm sure you wouldn't realize that we're fun people do. Women love men, and we appreciate good looks. So one fun element to Azucena, Marlene, Heba, yeah, you can, you're honest too. <laughs> this like sister group where we point oh that, that's a cute one coming you know they just like snake being there the professor <laughs> so it's been like fun it's been like fun and yeah. uh, is this gonna be is this gonna go air my students are gonna <laughs> So you've been very tolerant. Though. Very tolerant. Very tolerant. Yes. You know, we've learned, we, yeah. we, we agree to disagree very amicably. So I think that's a take home message. I'm going to teach my sons, you know, you're not going to find your friends everywhere. Yeah. Learn how to, you know, get along with everyone. You need to make friends wherever you go. You need to be sociable. So I think this, this has been one of the most enriching experiences. And, um, you know, all the best to all the Pakistani women, Egyptian women, Hondur women from Honduras. You all are extremely, extremely smart. 12 women in one group, Avna. 12 yeah. versus 6 men. That's, yeah. that's, 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 you can see you can see yeah. 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 And that speaks volume that, you know, it's always women who are better catalysts for change. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yeah. if I may just add of something. Of course, yes. Should thank they you. would not shatter the imi uh, preconceived image that I've had of Pakistani women because I've known many Pakistani women from before and they're all very well accomplished. They're all um, role models that uh, I can look up to. So, I mean, like you fit into the preconceived image that I've already <laughs> had. I'm glad. I'm glad, yeah. So, th that's, that's amazing. Um, 
I'm, I'm so glad that you've all had such an enriching experience and you're going to back to your countries with so much more to offer back home. Hopefully that will bring about a change in whatever institutions you're coming from and that small change will then probably and hopefully trickle down um, to a wider audience. And this is just, a, like you mentioned, just a beginning of the change that you guys are going to be catalysts for. And thank you so much, Katie, for, for being a part of the organizing uh, community and taking and uh, putting in the effort. Uh, is, is This program is done every year, right? Correct. Yes. yes. Yeah, so every okay. year, yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, pandemic contingent, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it's right. yeah. yeah, yeah, yes, uh, hopefully, you know, that neither of those would be an issue in the future, and you can continue to do the good work that you've been doing. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. It's been a, an extremely fun, one of my most fun interviews that I've done. So you're, you're thank such you. a fun bunch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, yeah. so much. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs>